Hello everybody, my name is Josh, welcome back to The Binding of Isaac. This is episode 30 now that we are jumping in with right here. Before we jump into the run, I want to talk about the stats screen quickly. Once again, it has changed since the end of the last episode. Uh, I once again did more off-screen grinding, uh, trying to get Spelunka Boy. I didn't get it. I came close. I came really, really close. Um, and by really close, I mean I got hit in the room before the second boss in case. So I almost got it. But in this case, didn't happen unfortunately. Found quite a few more items. I'm at 112 found items now. 64 deaths. Because I keep doing that. And I unlocked another boss. Something cute. Um, so that's fun, I guess. Here's our collection right now. We don't have a lot of items left. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 more items, I think, to collect. Around 20 more items. Uh, so, this is going to be a fun one. What we're going to do is we're going to run with Maggie. Um, and we'll see how that goes. Because you never you never know what happens in this sort of thing. And that's the problem. So we're gonna go with Maggie. We'll see what happens. I'm very curious. Happens. I've got a damaged DPS calculator up on my phone next to me as well, just so we have an idea of how much damage we're doing. Um before we really jump in. Uh and that'll just make things easier. I'll try and explain a lot more as I'm going this time around. Um, because I haven't been explaining a lot in the last few episodes. You never know when someone might be jumping in with something that they've never seen before. Alright, starting off with our first item right here, Blood of the Mardiga. So, we just increased our DPS. So that's good. Uh, so we just did the big thing that you need to do with Maggie. Is get some damage going immediately. Uh, pills, who knows what pills could have. Telepills into the shop. Uh, nothing really worth it in the shop right now, unfortunately. Um, we don't really have many items. Um, Gluttony. So the big thing about Maggie is that she's slower. Um, that's the big problem with Maggie. Um, and she takes a lot of damage really quickly. Um, so fighting mini bosses and whatnot is actually kind of difficult to do. Um, Especially if you can't get into a good spot to uh, really snipe away at them. Gluttony gave us nothing worth there, so that's useful. So we're just going to really see what we can find here. Um, getting some DPS up first is really, really great. That means we can really inflict some damage quickly. Um, there's the boss. Kind of curious, I just want to check out that upper corner. Um, if we can find a bomb, that'd be really cool. I don't think there are any tinted rocks in here right now and having the item room spawn right away was actually really really good oh there's a tinted rock right there so these guys are probably some of my least favorite enemies to deal with just because they're really annoying to deal with we don't have any bombs for that tinted rock and that rock over there box whatever so we're just starting off quickly just grab one of these and we'll make our way over to our first boss. Um, so we'll see what happens. This could be interesting, or it could go horribly, horribly wrong. You never know. We'll see what happens. Famine is our first boss. The best way to fight Famine is to come in front of him pretty much every time. And Famine spawns a lot of Grandfather Flies. Coming in front of Famine cause him to rush you. And now we're at the point where things get harder for Maggie mainly, because she's got such slow speed. Uh, she has trouble dodging things. But we beat it, we got the Cuban meat, we're gonna run back to the gluttony room, get 
those hearts. We got nothing in terms of pennies right now. We can't even get other stuff. So four hearts is actually pretty good to start off with. It allows us to really make devil deals as well. Um, so we can grab that and add that to our basis when we jump in right here. Basement 2, we now need a key to unlock the item room, um, so who knows how that'll happen. Hopefully we can get a key from this room, as I'd really like to grab this item room here. So our DPS has really gone up right here. Um, Maggie starts off with pretty usual damage per second, um, and but getting that first item that we got, I forgot what it was called. Helpful item to get to start off with. <laughs> it's gonna make uh, the beginning of this uh, quite a bit easier. Now, I, re I went back and watched some of the older episodes of this series, uh, like some of the first episode from a couple years ago, and uh, there were a lot of things back then that I had trouble with that I don't really have trouble with now. A uh, big one being grandfather flies. I don't know what they're actually called probably just grandfather flies but I was the that was one of the enemies I had a lot of trouble with actually starting off with but nowadays I don't really because they're not that hard to deal with <laughs> okay so key finding is going swell right now uh, I haven't found any keys yet I mean like, we'll fully explore first before thinking about stuff like that. And that hurt. Full. Nice. Hit that tinted rock there, we can grab ourselves a spirit heart. I thought that died, whatever. There's the boss right now. Uh, Maggie also starts with the Yum Heart, which isn't overly great. Um, I mean, all the Yum Heart really does is, you know, keep you from taking too much damage. Not a lot of keys right now. Um, We'll grab this though, the virus, poison touch. Is that one of the items that I can put on there? I don't think that was poison touch. Anyway. Why does ESC do that? That's really weird. Anyway, ow. Yeah, so dealing with Grandfather Flies really aren't that bad anymore. <laughs> um, and what the Poison Touch does is it basically gives me... Poison Touch. <laughs> if a character touches me, I can poison them, etc. The Odd Mushroom. So that increases my fire rate. So I now have much better fire rate than I did before. Um, that'll be very helpful, actually. Uh, secret room locations. I can think of two places. This is one of them. It was not there, but we got this chest anyway, so that's pretty cool. And I don't think there was another tinted rock in there. I think it was just up here. Uh, here's the other place I can think of it being. There we go. Probably worth checking out the shop. We have seven coins now, which is enough for a cheap item. Um, it's entirely possible that we could get a cheap item, you never know. And we do! Steam Sale, beautiful. So, Steam Sale, what Steam Sale does is it basically um, decreases the price of everything. <laughs> so, it halves the price of everything, uh, which means I only need seven. 
means I only really need seven uh, rings, seven coins to purchase anything in the shop. Alright, Monstro. Quite an easy boss. Uh, pretty self-explanatory patterns. Um, his attacks are very telegraphed. Um, his attacks are very telegraphed, so he's very obvious. He has pretty much three attacks. Um, he can either jump towards you, which is what he was doing there, um, or he can do other, or he can fire at you in the direction you are, and then he can leap up into the air and drop down onto you. Okay, caves. Now, wouldn't mind trying to get. Wouldn't mind trying to get Spelunker Boy right now, but it's kind of difficult, especially. I somehow didn't get hit there. And I got hit there. So there goes Spelunker Boy. It's not easy to get these damageless achievements. Range down. Eh. Annoying. Alright. So, this type of room is kind of annoying to deal with because. They just spawn on one side and not leave it. It's really annoying. Well, not worth grabbing that room. I'll leave that for now. I might come back to that later on. So, we actually beelined towards the boss, which if we were seriously hunting for Spelunker Boy right now, which would be the perfect thing to do. But then you can just get hit anyway, so like, why bother? But we're, we're going to try and find uh, the item anyway, because trying to find the item is good. Um, it allows us to find things. My first port of call is thinking over there. There we go. Eh. Not the most useful secret room. Only three pennies, that's it. I mean, I suppose I could try and get that chest to get that bomb, but whatever. I haven't found any HP items right now, which is not that bad because I'm playing Maggie, but if I was playing like Cain or Judas or Eve, then I would be a bit more concerned. Um, but we're pretty good right now, honestly. Uh, Yum Heart is helpful for a bit, but I would much rather find another item. There's nothing much you can really do about that. And that kind of situation is really annoying. Lust. Now, Lust is a fast boy. Found some pills. Ooh! Ow! Getting unlucky pills here today. Alright. So, that pill killed one of my HP hearts. Uh, I now only have three hearts. Uh, so, this is the point where I'd start to think a bit more. Maybe I kind of want some HP. Um, so, getting very unlucky... Uh, drops here. Overall though, this was actually a pretty easy caves one. Um, Spirit Heart's helpful. Eh, alright. <laughs> so this is not the most useful item. Boom basically just gives you 10 bombs. Um, eh, not very helpful. Um, not gonna check the shop. There's no real reason to right now. Might, well considering I have so many bombs, we might go grab that chest in the middle there. We might do the other one as well. Unfortunately, I'm not going to have Yum Heart for... Yeah, Boom's not the most useful item to get. It's kind of just there. Alright, we can go back to the shop now if we want to, and I'm probably going to do that just to see what they've got. But I want to kind of come in here first. Bombs, so it's not overly useful. Whatever. Because I just got ten of them. Ah, pff, excuse me, what? Did you just fire that out of your butt? <laughs> Alright, these guys 
I haven't talked about these guys yet. These guys are annoying because they just send flies after flies at you and they're really annoying to deal with. Um, especially in large numbers because they just keep firing flies at you. And the flies they fire at you are pretty much always the red ones. Um, and there's two different types of flies. There's the black ones, which are the only ones in the room right now. Alright, these guys are actually not that hard to deal with. Um, Basically, you just gotta wait for them to pop up and now hit you and hit them. Uh, if it's one that's tinted red, then you can just fire at it whenever you want. Makes it a bit easier to deal with. All right, let's go to the shop. I have too many bombs. <laughs> let's see what the shop has in store for us. If we can get something like the treasure map or something, that would be really, really nice. Um, of course, getting the treasure map would be really, really nice if we were doing a Spelunker Boy run, which we're not. Um, Basically, I'm just going to try for the no damage achievements as we go and just hopefully see if we can get them or not. Um, Nine Vault is probably the better choice in this situation. Dead Bird could also be useful, but yeah, Nine Vault re quickly recharges uh, your spacebar item quickly. If we can get a better spacebar item than Yum Heart, then it'll be immensely useful. Um, if not, then we'll just be stuck with Yum Heart for a bit. We'll see what happens. Considering we're back to three health because of that stupid pill, and I think that pill in there was also the same health down pill. Anyway, let's fight our first boss in the caves. Gertie, an easier boss. Thank you for that. So, Gertie uh, is not that hard, actually. He has a bit of a weird hitbox. And as Maggie can be kind of annoying because, um... So you can do one of two things. You can either produce enemies, usually flies, occasionally these apple-like things that just deal damage, like those things right there. Shoot them enough, they'll go down. The other thing you can do is turn towards the direction that you're in and just fire bolts at you. Um, so it's a good idea to keep a watch on him pretty much at all times. Um, Gertie is probably the easiest boss on the caves. Um, he's not that hard to deal with. Um, once you get the pattern down, he's pretty easy. Uh, rotten meat, some HP. Overall, not the greatest caves, but we can make do with it. Alright, caves 2. This enemy can only be hit from behind. His weak spot is behind him. When there's only one of them, it's not that hard. When there's more of them, it becomes a pain in the ass. One thing you really want to kind of hope for, and one of the secrets that you can get actually pretty much requires that you have a full game run and you get one of the Headless Horsemen in every single room. On every single floor. Now this is a fun room to deal with these guys in. Now, the bomb flies will explode. Best thing to do with the bomb flies is stay out of their way, um, or else they will really bloody hurt. <laughs> and they will hurt. <laughs> they will hurt. Um, in terms of different rooms that appear, um, the challenge room has a chance to appear if you enter a floor at full health. Um, will appear if you enter a floor at full health. Um, is what I mean to say. For full health. Lots of coin right there from a gold chest. Gold chests are pretty much always good. You should always go for a gold chest. Um, okay. These worm-like enemies suck. <laughs> They'll zoom towards you when they spot you on their path and uh, they can be a bit annoying to deal with. Uh, this room's not that bad, considering that there's only a couple of them, but when you have a room full of like six or seven of them, then they become quite a bit of a hassle to deal with, um, especially if you're going for a no damage run. If you're going for a no damage run trying to get Spelunker Boy, then that's not the room kind of room that you want to get. A room like this, for instance. At least in a room like this, you can kind of hide behind things, snipe away at them. Um, 
And once you get rid of a couple, they become infinitely easier to deal with. Because then you don't have to deal with as many of them. Yeah, use the different the holes in that to your advantage. It's very, very much something you want to do. Alright, Wrath. Another of the seven deadly sins. Uh, this one is one of the easier ones, I'd say. Um, he basically is a Bomberman ripoff. Um, he'll throw bombs at you, he'll chase after you, throw bombs at you mainly. Um, he's pretty easy to deal with. Like, you can hit the bombs back at him and they'll hurt him. Um, it'll basically try as much as possible to be annoying. Um, that's Wrath's main... Wrath? Who was that? I don't know. Uh, treasure map is immensely useful. Maybe I should have grabbed the spirit heart as well. I don't know. Possibly. The treasure map is a very useful item to have as it basically just allows you to see the entire map. Um, and uh, look at that. A much better spacebar item. My little unicorn is awesome. We'll show it off in the boss battle. Um, very useful item to have. So we're going to take that and we're going to leave Yumheart behind. We're done with Yumheart. Uh, I was going to check out the... Alright, this is not overly terrible, but... Just circle away from everyone. You should be able to deal with things a bit better. Anyway, Spelunka Boy's dead anyway, so I'm not overly concerned about taking too much damage. Except I kind of am. Alright, Gish. I think these guys are called. Gish is nice. They're not overly hard to deal with. Okay. These guys are like harder versions of enemies that you may have fought on the first floor. I don't think I got any of them in basement, but uh, they are possible. They can appear. Um, they're not that hard. They're actually pretty easy. Alright, we're back to these boys again. So, how these guys work is they basically take damage they shoot they're like gish except they're the opposite of gish gish will fire in the four diagonal directions um those meat things i don't know what they're called will fire in the four basic directions all right rather simple room to deal with here uh, these guys are actually really easy once you know how they work, um, as they won't pop up until you get in front of them. If they see you in their sights, then they will pop up. Um, if not, then they won't pop up. Simple as that. Getting a lot of bombs here. <laughs> okay. Ow. Dealing with Gish can be kind of annoying in a room like this, where they can easily snipe you, um, but overall it's not that bad. Ugh, Mr. Mega, my item pickups aren't helping me out very much right now. Uh, Mr. Mega just increases blast damage, um, I, I, kind of useful, I guess, I mean, I don't know. <clears throat> and I got more bombs. Let's check out um, the upper corner where this room is. There was a uh, enemy room up here. Also, I should know, once you defeat a room full of enemies, it will never respawn. Um, so you can safely go back through there. Rooms that are grey on the map, you have cleared out, you don't have to deal with anymore. Alright. Considering that I don't have to get much for a nickel to go to a shop anyway, I'm not overly concerned about um, stuff like that. I do want more Cuban meat though, so if we can get Pestilence here, as much as I don't like fighting Pestilence, I find Pestilence actually probably the hardest of the horsemen to fight. We'll see what happens though. Hopefully we can get something good. And I'll show you what my little unicorn does. Alright, so we actually got one of the Headless Horsemen. Um, this is just the Headless Horseman. So, that's what my little unicorn does. It's basically a giant thing. A pony allows you to fly. Um, 
and does something when you hit the spacebar. Oh, it zooms. Okay. Unicorn's probably better. Devil! We have the Book of Belial. And the Mark. We'll take the Mark. We'll get some damage up going. Cool. Bit helpful. And we go Spirit Heart as well. Useful stuff. That's one. We can try for the next boy achievement. Oh, jeez. Having blast damage up doesn't help at all. Because it's entirely possible that I'll just kill him. Alright. So these boys can give you a useful item and can also not give you a useful item. This one wants to be a greedy bastard. Please give me the item. There we go. Cool. We got a quarter. Eh, alright. That's not great, but it's not horrible either. It just gives us lots and lots of money. <laughs> Which means we can gamble our heart out if we want to. Okay. Brains suck. How the brains are... They'll pretty much leave a trail of crap behind them. I don't know what it's actually called. I know it has a proper name. I just can't be bothered to figure it out right now. Uh, that goop will hurt you. Rather easy rooms in the depths so far. Not a terrible depths. The popcorn guys, or the fly spitting guys, uh, will also, like, feed stuff to you. What am I trying to say? I don't know what I'm trying to say. I mean, like, helpful. <laughs> okay. We got a Larry Jr. here. Easy way to deal with a Larry Jr. We'll grab a Spirit Heart, as that's always helpful. Okay. These guys. <laughs> These guys aren't very nice. Um, they hurt. <laughs> they really do hurt. Um, ooh, another space bar. Teleport teleport to you. Not useful. Not worth it. Alright. So far, we are good. Okay. Statues will fire at you. And will stop firing at you when they run out of... Ugh. Okay. These guys are annoying. So, this is a type of this enemy. It's slow, but ow. There goes the depths achievement. <laughs> and there goes the depths achievement again. See how much the these uh damageless achievements suck? Yeah, because they do. And if you get a mini boss room like that, you kinda do want to try and deal with it. Uh, okay. These suck. A lot easier to deal with now. Ah, uh, nice. Give me that coin. Okay, uh, these guys are not actually that hard to deal with. They're actually quite easy. They're probably some of the easiest enemies in the game. Uh, once you get them down to their death point there, you just have to hit them a few more times and they'll die. Um, Nice, easy enemy to deal with. Okay. These guys, though, can go to hell. <laughs> basically, it's a combination of two enemies, and once you get rid of one half of it, it's basically the second half only. Um, it can be either a body or a head or whatever. I'm, I'm not talking very much. I've already lost my item. Anyway, I kind of want to see the shop. And I do want to see the shop. And I'd also like to hopefully... Alright, this is a nice room. This is a very nice room. Uh, 
It is entirely possible to get trapped in a corner like this. I couldn't move there. That was just an entire situation of I can't move very far here. Because those things leave a trail behind them and they suck. <laughs> Simple as that. Alright. In terms of getting ready for the womb, uh, not very good right now. Ugh. Jesus Christ. Big problem with these boys is that they just explode in your face. Greed! Okay, so occasionally when you come to the shop, you can find greed instead. Greed sucks. I hate greed. Um, he's just another one of the seven deadly sins. He can occasionally give you an item from beating him, but most of the time he'll just give you crap like that. Um, not worth it, because he sucks. <laughs> And then you're left with a situation like this, where you have two hearts, and you're wondering, how the hell am I going to make this work? <laughs> Alright, well, let's fight our boss of the Depths 1, anyway. Um, who are we getting? Right, alright. Okay, so this is Krampus. Or a variation of Krampus, anyway. Um, he does a full heart of damage. So he's very, very dangerous, um, and that's why. Uh, yeah, not very nice, not very helpful. That was a pretty meh run, honestly. It started off quite well, but then just, you know, flops in the middle. And that's annoying. If you flop in the middle, it's not very helpful and whatnot. Nothing new there. Um, I'm probably, I'm not going to try another run here. That was a pretty meh run. Um, but that's, that's just Isaac. That's just how Isaac works. So anyway, that was the end of episode 30 woo, of The Binding of Isaac. Hope you all have enjoyed this episode. Uh, it was alright, I guess. It wasn't the best run ever. But, you know, if you get on a really good run, it feels really, really good. And that wasn't the best run. Started off well, and then we just got meh, meh items afterwards. So anyway, hope you all have enjoyed that. That was all very, very fun. I will see you all for episode 31 maybe tomorrow we'll see what happens i don't know what my timing will be like tomorrow but we'll see um hopefully we'll do that it'll be very fun i'm looking forward to it so until then my name is josh and i will see you all next time bye